Okay, hello guys, and uh, I think today I'm going to do such a, a quick tutorial about uh, on how to save your custom uh, template, or probably you've made your custom indicators and uh, you put them together. You made a trading strategy. You made you have probably like a number of indicators, and you put them together uh, to make one trading strategy just like this one here the one i have now this is a full trading strategy so every chart probably if i take an example i'm going to add another chart here uh, like maker i don't need to be applying every single indicator again uh, to put uh, the whole strategy together i just i can just go in here uh, look for my templates then just apply a template and the template we just apply automatically and that template uh it will be containing all the indicators uh that are uh, have put together for that strategy so it really, it really makes um things quicker and easy so every time you're opening a new chart every day you're opening a new trend you don't need to you know keep on uh adding the indicators uh one by one just like this maybe you can remove them then adding adding them one by one it can really be some pretty hard task so to avoid this you can uh, use the iq option feature of saving the uh, the template so you save the strategy template and it is saved in your iq so whenever you're opening a new chart or a new day you just go on uh, in your indicators here and go to templates these are the indicators and these are the templates you go to template and then load your template here now these are my templates i have a number of templates a number of strategies so each template here represents a, a strategy and uh, it depends on the percentage of the strategy how uh, efficient it is probably the most uh, recent one is actually the most perfect strategy as it has been an involvement of the uh, previous one so uh, in order not to maybe forget what you put together you can see you can't keep on remembering all the things all the time uh, for example you have the arons mm, take an example you have all the arons in this strategy uh, if, I'm, uh, if I'm to apply my recent strategy which is uh, the arranged template if you look at it it has almost <coughs> almost a couple of uh, indicators that uh, are put together into one strategy so i don't have to keep on adding these strategies all the time together uh, in order to uh, start trading so now what you do you have to save the strategy that you've put together into a template so the next time just click on the template and it just loads on the chart so let's go ahead and see how we can save a template uh, for future use so take an example let me first uh, have one chart running probably for mecca and then i will kind of uh, i think delete all these mm -hmm. i don't need this i need an empty chart that is uh okay so we can just stop that now take an example i've been uh, editing my indicators uh, adding in more yeah. and uh, putting together a strategy that is going to be that I'm uh, going to be using for quite some time now take an example of this strategy now that whenever I load a new chart for another coin I don't need to keep on you know loading the same strategy all I have to do is to come on this previous chart, uh, go to my indicators, under the indicator, then under added, make sure you're on added, then I scroll down to the bottom towards the end, you will see something called save indicator template. So <clears throat> at this point, this is where you're going to save your indicator template from. So you click on this button, the save indicator template. And you realize that after clicking, it provides a sort of a form, a typing area where I can type uh, any name I want, anything I want to name my template. 
for example that just call it my new uh, my new trading yeah trading strategy template now after uh, creating a name for your template you go ahead and save so that template will be saved under your templates probably it will be the most recent one down here that is if at all you have other template but if you may not be having any template uh, that current template that you've just saved will be just there on top and it will be the only one under the template section uh-huh now may i have a number of them so probably the recent one that has been saved recently is actually the last one it happens to be the last uh, template in the list so now you can see my new trading strategy has been uh, saved you can go ahead and click on settings if you want to rename maybe you want to change its name so you can edit the name the way you want and then after that you save and also if you want to get rid of it you still click on settings and delete the template now that being said uh, let's go back and, uh, and we see how we are going to apply our template assuming that we have nothing here and we have a new chart that uh, we are going to use to apply the template so uh, let me first remove all this okay now we have this zigzag i also have to remove this zigzag so that we can have a completely new chart so here is a new chart okay we can but majorly if you want to add the template that we just saved to this chart you go ahead and click on indicators uh go to template this time you do templates then as we said the lastly saved or the recently saved uh, template normally goes to the bottom so you scroll down to the bottom and this is the strategy that we have uh, that you just said my new trading strategy so if you want it to load to the current chart you just click on it it will load to the current chart just give it a couple of minutes and it will be loading uh, everything here you're seeing all these indicators put together the way you've been arranging them it will load them to the main chart so finally our template has loaded so you find that you don't have to keep on struggling you just have uh, every time you want to load a new chart just load a new chart then bring a template and add it there okay guys that's all i wanted to say uh, to talk to you in this tutorial probably i just wanted to make a reminder about um how to add uh, a custom script i've seen people struggling with adding custom scripts in um in a IT option but uh, it's pretty quick uh, method that I can just go through right now if I leave um, um, simply just come to around uh, indicators yeah now you see this indicator every indicator has a script a kind of a code uh, a bunch of code written that uh, predefines what its uh, movements are so now you can make your own custom script or you can edit the already existing script so you just have to go to scripts and then uh, you can see here we have add new script so you click on add new script and immediately uh, you will have uh, uh, a sort of a kind of a, uh, an a area where you can code the coding area where you can add your uh, code and to make sure that you save the way you want it now if you because you see this you know typing area is a little bit narrow you can go ahead somewhere called um, open in editor so you can open a bigger space in the editor and uh, as you can see the editor opens so you go ahead in the editor add your code here uh, you can change the indicator name for the start I can just edit the indicator name my new indicator so you add on your code here 
and everything you want after everything you've done you know adding on your code uh you left with only one thing of coming around here and save the the scripts and once you've saved the scripts it will be saved as an indicator and it will be added to your list of indicators and you can apply it in your template and use it as well okay so now when you click on save it's actually it's essentially supposed to save the indicator and uh, we hope that it has saved you can uh, now cancel scripts and then go back so when you go to your indicators uh, probably you will find it there if you don't find it there you will have to create a new one and rename it so that's uh, a quick story on how to uh, add indicators you can see our new indicator has been added if you want it to be launched to the, uh, to the indicator list and you can use it you have to add it to plot so you click on add to plot and it will be added there okay that's all guys i'll be seeing you in the next tutorial bye for now i just wanted to show you how to uh, add a new indicator and how to save your custom uh templates so i think if, before i go you can see that your new my new indicator has been added to your list of indicators and you can just add it to your uh your list or your chat and it will show up on the chat okay guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe